Today, we are going to look at Mobile Essentials. Mobile Essentials includes Fast Shadow Projector, Fingers Touch Gestures, Mesh Baker, Editor Console Pro, and Cross-Platform Native Plugins Ultra Pack. The scene I've created here is a top-down collecting game in which our Viking moves around and collects shields. We're going to look at how I've used the assets from Mobile Essentials to maximize both performance and productivity in this project. First, let's look at Fast Shadow Projector. Mobile is a performance-sensitive platform and real-time shadows can be expensive. Fast Shadow Projector allows us to use blob shadows. Blob shadows approximate shadows using a circular texture on the ground, which is much more performant than casting real-time shadows. First, I will add a shadow projector component to my player character, the Viking game object. I'm going to tweak my settings to make the shadow a bit smaller with a size of 0.8 and a bit less opaque with an opacity of 0.7. I will also assign as the shadow material the provided blob shadow material. In order for shadows to be displayed, I need to also add a shadow receiver to any object I want to cast shadows onto. Let's add one to the ground beneath the Viking. Now, when I enter play mode, I can see a small circular shadow texture that follows the Viking around on the ground and gives us a performant approximation of a shadow. I'm creating a mobile game, and so I will need my player to interact with the game via a touch screen, but currently I'm developing on my PC with a keyboard and mouse. I want the player to be able to move by tapping on the screen and to rotate the camera with a two finger drag movement. Fingers Touch Gestures allows me to quickly implement familiar touchscreen interaction mechanics with minimal scripting and to emulate those gestures in the Unity Editor during development, allowing for rapid iteration. I'll add a finger script to my Viking game object. Since I'm using a click to move navigation method, this makes my locomotion simple. However, I need the player to be able to rotate the camera to find the next collectible. I'm going to use a rotation gesture from Fingers Touch Gestures in which the player taps the screen with two fingers and drags to rotate the view. I've created a script which causes the camera to follow the Viking and point the camera towards them. I'll assign the Viking to the target variable of this script to tell the camera to look at him. With a few lines of code, I've defined the rotation behavior of my camera and allowed it to be controlled by Fingers Touch Gestures. Now, when I enter play mode and test in the editor, I am easily able to emulate the rotation behavior by holding down shift and scrolling the mouse wheel. One of the challenges of any programming project can be figuring out what your code is doing under the hood. Editor Console Pro is a powerful asset to extend your debugging toolkit. Let's look quickly at one of my favorite features as an example. I've added a component to the Viking, which will log where he is moving to. If I highlight one of those log statements in the Unity console, I see the log message and a stack trace that leads me to the player click to move class. If I look instead at the console pro window, I can see not only the stack trace, but also the actual code for each line. And if I double click, I can jump directly to the original line where the function was called. Right now, my game is simple, but as my code grows more complex, having additional tooling like this can really help productivity. The next asset I'm going to use is another to improve rendering performance, namely reducing the number of set pass calls or draw calls in my scene. Typically, the more unique objects with different materials we have in our scene, the more set pass calls we'll have. Using the Mesh Baker asset, we can combine meshes and textures in order to optimize their rendering. First, I'll choose Game Object, Create Other, Mesh Baker, Texture Baker, and Mesh Baker. I'll identify the objects I want to combine textures for, in this case, some of the objects on the main island. I'll select the ground, one of the trees, and the cement platform, then save a selection of them using Edit Selection, Save Selection 1. Now, I'll select the Texture Baker object and lock its inspector. I will load my selection and drag these objects into the Objects to be Combined array. I need a new asset for the combined materials, which I will call Bake Results. Finally, I will choose Bake Materials into Combined Material. 
Now that I've combined the textures, I want to combine the meshes. When I created the texture baker, a mesh baker was added as a child object. Now I can simply choose bake and use the objects already combined by the texture baker. When the process completes, we can see we now have a single new object which combines the previously separate objects with a unified mesh and material. Working through our scene and combining objects and materials this way will allow us to significantly decrease our rendering costs and improve our game's performance. The last asset we'll look at is the Cross-Platform Native Plugins Ultra Pack. This asset allows us to access native functionality on mobile platforms and to simulate that functionality in the editor. There are a great many things we can do with this pack, including push notifications, camera and address book integration, and more. I've written a very simple script called Dialogue Shower and attached it to an empty game object in the scene. In this script, we're creating a delegate variable of the type alert dialogue completion called button completion. In start, we assign our button pressed function to that delegate and then call show alert dialogue with single button. Then when the button is pressed, the button pressed function is called and the result is that we log to our console button pressed, yes. When we enter play mode, we can see that our buttons are emulated in the editor and clicking the button logs the response to the console. This is a quick and easy way to access native platform functionality for iOS and Android while emulating that functionality in the editor. Fast Shadow Projector, Fingers Touch Gestures, Mesh Baker, Editor Console Pro, and the Cross-Platform Native Plugins Ultra Pack allowed me to speed up my game and improve my productivity working in Unity. Check out the Mobile Essentials Pack, and I can't wait to see what you create with it.